Sometimes, putting the wrong type of fuel into your car or truck's fuel tank is no big deal. Get the octane level wrong at the pumps and you'll either waste about 20 cents per liter if you run high octane gas in an engine that doesn't need it. And if it does and you accidentally fill up with low octane fuel, well, you'll be just fine after a tank's worth of poor performance and fuel economy caused by self-defense measures built into the engine for just that situation. The point is, using the correct octane level as outlined in your owner's manual is very important, but if you don't, the odd time it's not the end of the world. Different story if you put the wrong type of fuel into your tank, though. Times are confusing these days, and despite protective measures built into both cars and gas stations to prevent it, us clumsy humans still manage to misfuel our cars and trucks on a pretty regular basis. And many experts say this is even more common in a fleet vehicle setting. So maybe you have a brain fart, sorry, cognitive lapse. And whether that causes you to put gas into your diesel, diesel into your gas, or even do something really dumb like pour diesel emissions fluid into your fuel tank, which does happen more than you think, well, you've got a serious problem, but also a serious opportunity to further avoid catastrophe to your vehicle and especially your wallet. So if you've put any amount of the wrong stuff into your car's fuel tank, treat it as a poisoning. Your vehicle needs immediate and professional assessment and treatment using expert practices and possibly equipment to get things healthy again. Just don't start your fuel pump. That is super important. The fuel pump is the thing that turns on just before your engine starts to feed it. And the moment that fires, you've spread contaminated fuel throughout your vehicle's most vital organs and basically given it a death sentence. There is one course of action in this situation, and it is to call a tow truck, get your poisoned vehicle to a professional, and if you're lucky, you'll just be on the hook for a few hundred bucks worth of tow truck and fuel system flush. But a word of caution, be very careful that you do not start your fuel pump. This is easy to do accidentally if you're angry and, say, turning the key or just pushing the ignition switch, to try and unlock the steering wheel as you prep to be loaded onto a flatbed. Even if the engine doesn't start, whether you or the tow truck driver accidentally makes that fuel pump turn on, it's game over for your engine and fuel system. By the way, this comes from a real-life story where that split-second mistake immediately spread contaminated diesel through the guts of a new Nissan Titan, and the repair bill climbed to nearly 30 grand. If I had a remote starter installed, I'd be looking to unplug that too, just in case. So brain farts, sorry, cognitive lapses happen. And if one causes you to put something stupid in your fuel tank, don't start your fuel pump, don't start your engine, and definitely do not attempt to drive your car to the shop, I promise you calling the tow truck will be much, much cheaper. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. Until next time, take care and drive safe.